We need to clarify that the tourism levy bill is not targeting Airbnbs, but it's for the entire accommodation sector. So both uh, the large hotels, uh, which uh, would range up to about 450 rooms, and a one-bedroom apartment, which might be operated by a local St. Lucian or an expatriate national, that the bill really is targeting those guests that are coming to those hotels like they do in Barbados, like they do in Belize, like they do in Jamaica, like they do in the Bahamas, and a number of the popular Caribbean destinations that you know are already charging uh, the Airbnb fee. They have partnered with various platforms to ensure that they are collecting the monies on behalf of those respective governments. What it does is that it reduces the onerous task of governments year after year having to find uh, about $35 million to market the destination of St. Lucia so that we remain competitive in the tourism business. What it does then is make more monies available for schools, more money available for roads, and more monies available for uh, sporting infrastructure, and all the necessary government services that we need to elevate and advance our country. It must be made clear that the Village Tourism Incorporation Inc. will be established in conjunction with the Tourism Levy Bill. And what this does is that it will give the Airbnb properties the opportunity to get concessions. So at present, only hotels that have six rooms or more are benefiting from concessions. Now we are saying that everyone should benefit from concessions, that everyone should participate meaningfully in the tourism sector. And so we're asking everyone to get registered. We're asking everyone to participate so that you can receive marketing help. At present, only big hotels are assisted by the tourism uh, authority. They're the ones that go on trade shows. They're the ones that are promoted. Now we want to promote authentic St. Lucia. We want to promote little uh, inns and cottages and apartments and villas that are owned by St. Lucian people so that St. Lucians can participate more meaningfully. There is a lot that you can do on your own and we will leave you to do those things by yourself. But just consider that if you have just started an apartment, in five years time, you have to replace the drapes. You have to replace the furniture. You have to replace the sheets. You have to replace the towels. The television might be one that is outdated and might be in need of replacing. You may need to put other amenities in the room so that you can stay up to date with what's happening in the industry. If you are not registered, then you will not be able to get concessions like large hotels do. So what we're simply trying to do is to create a better management system for you. A lot of the bigger hotels can afford to put a reservation system in place. They can afford to set aside a marketing budget. They can afford to get legal help to advise them as to how to apply for concessions. They can afford to do a lot of things that smaller inns cannot do on their own. Government, by the setting up of Village Tourism Incorporated, will help the smaller properties to get established, to get advanced, and to be more competitive within the industry. I think it is disingenuous for anyone to take just a very small sentence in an entire seven or eight piece amendment to a legislation to say that that is the true representation of what the bill is. It is reckless, it is irresponsible, and it is political uh, maneuverings only to cause scare. But we have seen this in the last four years. We have seen whereby Instead of coming and reasoning and uh, giving the St. Lucian people the truth that the opposition St. Lucian Labour Party, all they have done is to present themselves in a manner that is scaring the people. So I want to debunk this. I want to say it is absolutely false. The likelihood of someone uh, violating the, or causing a violation that will amount to the maximum penalty being an Airbnb operator is very nil because the Airbnb uh, platforms 
are the ones that will be collecting the taxes for the government of St. Lucia, not the owner of the apartment. So therefore, the chance of him violating the tax is one that is very, 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 uh, very, very slim. Now, I think it's important for me to also note that the government is trying to work with you. The government is trying to empower you to participate in this business. Now, many years ago, there was a tax called the hotel accommodation tax. And in that tax, even today, the former prime minister of St. Lucia, Dr. Kenny Anthony, is on record of saying that hoteliers owe millions of dollars in this tax. And the reason why we have had to ensure that the penalty is at the strictest that it can be is to send a very strong signal to the hotels that we are serious about collecting or them collecting the monies on behalf of the government to ensure that this tax is uh, remitted to the government so that we can then fund the marketing activities of the tourism authority. I hope I've made myself clear. I just want to ensure that I speak to all the Airbnb hosts. We support you. We want to in lift you and elevate you. And we're not here to cause any mayhem or any harm to your businesses.